Hello, my name is Siaka, and today we're talking about how to break your social media addiction. Love. Whether you procrastinate on tasks because of social media, or you just feel as though you're not, when well, you spend too much time on social media and depend on it, there's certain stuff you can take to ease up or just not depend on it as much. Everyone who has been on social media, like for a certain amount of time, has began to um, feel this kind of, not it's not, not even addiction, but like, spend too much time on social media so whether it be like just videos or a certain it's usually like a certain um thing that drop like drives you to go back on the site whether it's the people on there uh, just news like celebrities people around you memes certain things like that that begin to grow on you and you begin to rely on and this is okay this is um it's just human nature it's not just with social media that's just with, with anything in life sometimes it's good to take a break or to take a step back and reflect on why this is happening because sometimes it can turn to an unhealthy habit of you just relying on this one thing that makes you happy it, like drives your happiness or your just your drive in general so the first thing you want to do is be honest with yourself um I know that you may have a problem and it's this is not a bad thing like um addiction sounds so horrible but like it's okay to be addicted or it's not even addict addiction it's just like it's not it's not really good to think of it as, as addiction because people really think that it's a bad thing like my strange addiction like it's just the most extreme and the most um yeah this is the most extreme outcome and um situation so what you want to do is just be honest with yourself. Why do you feel like you're addicted? Where is this coming from? And um, begin to realize what what you're addicted to. And so you want to understand first before you understand what why you're addicted to it. You want to understand why you want to break it. Why do you think this is unhealthy for you? Why do you want to change? And you might be thinking like, how do I even come to that answer? And you might want to ask yourself how it affects you and the people around you. How it makes you feel. How does this affect your life in general? Um, maybe it's that you're not getting tasks done that you need to get done and you want to better your situation in life as in just doing things that you want to do and social media is just getting in the way. So you really want to break down the essence of why you want to break it, how it affects you, how does it make you feel, how does it affect your life and the people around you, like your relationships, like your relationships with them, how bad your life would be without it. Not Maybe not without it, but like without the addiction. Yeah, just really understand how it consumes you, whether it be from the memes, the like the fucked up memes, or just stuff that brings you down, like the negativity. That's usually what it is. It's usually something negative that brings you down to make you think that consuming you. Because it might be like, it might not even be memes, like something on there. It might be like how many likes you're getting, how many, how many people is interacting with your stuff. You might think or believe that social media makes you important, and it's just like getting to the nitty gritty of like how this makes you feel because that's usually the problem that why we can't break habits we don't understand why we want to break it or why we want to uh, change our ways and so if we don't strongly believe why it's just it's the mind just doesn't really it's like why would I change something that's not affecting me so after you've realized about how you want to change and why you want to change you want to start to you actually just have to do things so um, next step is making good habits. This is outside social media. This is like outside of your phone. This is life in general. You want to start making good habits for yourself. Stuff that you can work on that um, doesn't necessarily have to do with social media, but like works towards your goal that you want to um, get to. So as I said before, um, you understood why you want to break it now, right? So now you understand why you want to break it and where you want to go in life that doesn't involve this like if social media is getting in your way of a task do those tasks like literally do them and you want to make good habits of doing them doing the tasks and doing similar things like that to better your life and it's just doing tasks that make you feel better you want always want to feel better and this will make you this will make your mind even want to branch off of social media without you even trying to like you literally want to do that for your own health and this is from personal experience like i just feel like that uh, my drive was coming off of social media, and I was looking at just, just I was just I just used social media as a just to laugh at one point, and that's not all social media is for. Like, uh, like literally, I, like now what I use it for is to connect with people and to get my message out, and that's something I turned this was my social media into. 
you know, look at who you're following, you know. That's what social media is going to be perceived as because if all you're following is meme pages and your friends, that's all you're going to see, you know. You want to start, like, social media is a good way to connect to the world in general. Like, now that we have the internet, it's just boundless like uh, opportunities to learn and understand people and you want to start under, like you want to start following people like that you want to start making social media a better place to just thrive on you know follow people you know if people are bringing you down like your friends maybe or just friends that people that you, I mean, like, stuff that your friends post you know but since you don't want to call this conference you don't want to follow them like you can literally just mute their page like and go on their page and hit those three dots and mute their page uh the posts their stories whatever you feel like and once you get them out the way, like, and all you see is positivity, that's what you're going to thrive off of. And that's, that's what I mean by making good habits. And it's just, that, that goes into social media, but also outside of social media, outside of the, your phone. Make good habits doing, I don't know, if you're in school, doing your homework on time. Why just studying, like, stuff that you need to, stuff that you want to, you know, the schools might be important to you. So, um... Focus on more things that make you make your life more positive. I basically explained this um, stuff already, but just turning social media into um, a good habit. That's what I was saying. Just like making it, um, making it somewhere to be that you want to be. All positivity. Just really change social media into what you really want it to be, not what you not what you want to. The headspace I was back in, I wrote was wanted to have laugh and like. But if I really wanted to, I could just. Delete all the all the pages that like brought me positivity. Just look at all the memes, all the f up memes that I used to be watching, and it just brings your vibration down. Stuff brings you down. The more you're gonna operate on that level. If I'm always looking at the negativity of the world and not really looking at the positivity, I won't even try to make make my life own life positive because I'm already operating on this level of vibration that brings me down and it's just like I'm going I'm going to learn to live on that level so it's just small things like that small things that you surround yourself with and it's not it's not just social media it's the people you're around it's the things that you do you want to begin to start to control your life and just live how you really want to live and this is the final step is actually doing the actual work this is not no video can help you or give you the answer so you have to actually do the work go out and actually do things that you want to do um because it's work you know like it takes three weeks to form an addiction and three weeks to break it and you need to actually get up and start making a difference with yourself and it all starts with yourself you have to want to be the one to get up and go get it like i can show you the link but you have to be the one to get up and go drink it you have to be the one to actually do things in life that's actually affecting you Cause no matter what I say, no matter what any else say, anyone else says, it's going to change. And it's just baby steps, you know, put one foot in front of the other, you know. Just making small steps, and the more you do it, the more bigger stuff you take, the more change, the more you evolve, and the more that you make yourself a better person. Thank you guys for watching this video for me this far. If you guys enjoyed this video, I would like you to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. So thank you, have a good day.